When I teach the letters and sounds to early childhood students, my goal is that they learn their first word by the third week of school. And their first word is log. To begin with, on the first week of school, I would show the children letter L and explain to them that this is letter L and the sound for L is O. Then I would show them a picture of a lion and I would say the lion will help us remember the O sound. I would ask the children to repeat after me O, lion, O. We would continue to do this each day of the week. The beginning of the second week, I would tell the students we are going to learn a new letter and that new letter is O. The sound for O is A. Ah, and I would show them a picture card of an ostrich. And I would say, the ostrich will help us remember the O sound. I would ask them to repeat, A, ah, ostrich, A. Ah. We would continue to review this each day of the week along with O, lion, O. At the beginning of the third week of school, I would say to the students, we are going to learn a new letter and that new letter is G. The sound for G is G. And then I would show them a the picture card of a goat and I would explain that the goat will help us remember the G sound. I would ask the students to repeat after me, G, goat, G. And just as I did with the other letters, we would review each day, O, lion, O, and A, ostrich, a. At the end of the week, I would say to the student, what if we combined the O sound and the A sound? What would we have? O, A, O, A. And if we added the G sound, we would have the word log. O, A, G, log. And they would have their very first word. And that's how I teach letters and sounds of the alphabet to early childhood students.